Okay, so isang magandang hapon sa lahat sa mga teachers and students, grade 4 to 6 students of School of St. Anthony. Welcome to our online library literacy program or what we call the OLLP. Thank you very much for attending and very active on participation sa group chat. And uh, we would also like to acknowledge the presence of the following people. Ms. Laika De Leon, the science teacher. Mr. John Michael Gaviola, the science coordinator. Ms. Katrina Sinosin, the grade school assistant principal. And uh, Ms. Amy Mamilit, the grade school principal. So again, welcome po. And we hope you're all staying safe and healthy amidst the pandemic. Thank you very much, Ms. Agnes, for uh, requesting the session. And we're very excited to share with you our library efforts, programs, and services. But before we officially start the program, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Dewey Marquez, Science Research Specialist 1, and I will be your moderator for today. And uh, together with me is the library team. So we have here our uh, Supervising Science Research Specialist, uh, Ms. Linda Reed M. Maglake. Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, and the best Miss Linder. I think she's having uh, internet connection problems. We also have uh, our. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Uh, we also have uh, our science research specialist, too, Miss Irene Alice Brillo. Hi, everyone. We also have our information system researcher, three, uh, Miss uh, Sir RJ Escondo. Ayan, good afternoon, sir. And present also are our tech people, Mr. Rainier Zagada and uh, Mr. Mark Jason Uvida. So, yan po ang team behind today's activity. And now, to uh, give you a glimpse of our discussion, we will be covering the following topics. So, for the first part, it's about getting to know the OSD SDII services, resources, and products. For the part two, we have researching in the OSD SDII library kung paano nga ba navigate ang aming online public access catalog. And given that we're currently close to the public, paano nga ba i-access ang aming library materials. And for part three, we have navigating the Starbucks offline, online mobile app, quiz app, and how to avail. Okay, so later on, all these topics will be discussed even further by our presenters. And now, for a smooth flow of the program, we are asking everyone to take note of the following house rules. This webinar will be recorded for documentation purposes. And if you have questions, please use the Q&A chat box. Be polite, pay attention, and actively participate. And finally, an evaluation and post-test will be provided in exchange of the e-certificate of attendance and the link will be posted in the latter part of the session so please stay tuned so sa ating mga students please also take note na uh, ating pong camera and your ang camera nyo and your microphones are disabled for this webinar okay so next slide please ayan so flashed on your screens are our presenters for the first part we have Ms. Linda Leap M. Maglake she's our a supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOST SDII Library. For the part two, we have Ms. Irene Alice Villio. She's our uh, Science Research Specialist to also a registered librarian. And for the third part, we have Mr. RJC Escondo, our Information System Researcher 3. And now to formally welcome all of you, let us all hear a message from the Director of the DOST SDII, Mr. Richard P. Burgos. Hi, let me greet everyone a happy day. It is always a happy day for us here at the DOST STII Library. And why is that so? Well, as a special repository of science, technology, and innovation information, we are always surrounded by the best minds and works of scientists, technologists, and innovators from the Philippines and from all around the world. So, when the COVID-19 pandemic threw the whole world in a lockdown. Some of the first places to be shut down were libraries. We could not receive walk-in clients anymore. Good news is that while our daily physical visitor count plummeted to zero, our online patrons continued to visit us and even increased in number. 
Moreover, with the school opening in the new blended environment for instruction, more and more learners and teachers are using online tools and resources and discovering the value of digital libraries. The requirement of the time, therefore, is to be agile and to pivot quickly to online solutions. Thus, we repositioned our old physical library tour and orientation program to an online version, which we now call the DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program. This is a way of reaching out to all teachers and learners who need to access resources and services that they can use in distance learning. The DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program has three parts. Part one is about getting to know the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute our services, available resources, and products. Part two teaches you how to research in the DOST STI library, how to navigate the online public access catalog, and how to request for library materials. Lastly, part three will discuss our digital library in a box, the DOST Starbucks. It will teach you how to navigate the DOST Starbucks offline or online, or even its mobile app version. Then there is the Starbucks Quiz app, which is loads of fun. Generally, the online library literacy program aims to capacitate DOST stakeholders in the field of science, technology, and innovation and to maximize the use of DOST STI services and resources. The most wonderful news is that all these resources are available online for you for free. So what are you waiting for? Come and spend a happy day at the DOST STII library. Visit our FB page at facebook.com slash STII library and access our online public access catalog at signet.dost.gov.ph. See you soon! Okay, so iyan po ang aming very energetic and very supportive na director, si Director Richard T. Borgos. And taking off from his video, we hope you're all excited and eager to learn more about the DOST, STII products and services. But before we proceed to the lecture proper, let me just give you a quick run through about the Department of Science and Technology. So for those who don't know, Ang Department of Science and Technology po ay matatagpuan sa Bikutan, Taguig City. And for the historical overview, from 1958 to 1982, DOST was formerly known as the National Science Development Board or NSDB. From 1982 to 1987, it was changed to National Science and Technology Authority or NSDA. And finally, in 1987, by virtue of Executive Order Number 128, it was changed to Department of Science mm -hmm. and Technology, or DOST, as it is known until today. So currently, po, ang DOST ay pinamumunuan ni Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña, or SFTP for short. And a quick trivia also, SFTP stands for the slogan of DOST, which is Science for the People, or sa Tagalog ay Agham para sa Bayan. So... And the DOST is composed of 18 attached agencies. So siguro yung iba, baka familiar na kayo, like yung pag-asa ang ating weather system or ang FIVOX na uh, in charge sa ating mga earthquakes, sa mga uh, volcanic eruptions, etc. And several regional offices divided into four clusters, namely the sectoral planning councils, the SNT services, the Collegial and Scientific Bodies, and the Research and Development Institutes. So, on DOST, Science and Technology Information Institute, or DOST SDII, is part of the s and services as the marketing and information arm of the DOST system. Okay, so now we shall proceed to our topics. To give you more information about the products and services of the DOST SDII, here is the video presentation of Ms. Linderit M. Maglake, our Supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOST SDII Library.
Hello everyone. How are you today? We hope that you are all doing well. I am Linder Lit M. Maglake, the head librarian of DOST Science and Technology Information Institute, and I am here today to introduce our agency. So let's get to know DOST STII. DOST STII is one of the attached agency of the Department of Science and Technology. We are the information and marketing arm of DOST. We have three mandates. We are mandated to establish a science and technology library. So that's DOST STII library. Next is to disseminate science and technology information. We disseminate SNT information in all formats. Through prints, we have our own publications. We also do broadcasting and press releases and through social media as well as mobile applications. So we will identify them all on the next slides. And lastly, to undertake training on science and technology information, we conduct free trainings and webinars so just follow our social media accounts for announcements. We provide SNT information services through our library. So this is DOST STII library located at DOST compound in Bikutan, Taguig City. So as of the moment, our physical library is temporarily closed to the public as a preventive measure to stop the spread of COVID-19. But don't worry, you can still avail of our library services by contacting us. You can email us at library at stii.dost.gov.ph and you can call and text us on the following numbers. For announcement, you can follow our social media accounts on Facebook at STII Library on Instagram at dost.stii library and on Twitter at stii underscore library. And if you miss watching our webinars, you can subscribe and watch the recordings at our YouTube channel at DOST STII library. For library material requests, you can browse our library collection at signet.dost.gov.ph. Our online public access catalog is very easy to use. You just need to remember four things. Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. Number two, click online public access catalog. Type your keyword in the search bar and click search. Number three, Select the title of your choice, make sure that the material is located at STII, and copy the details and send it at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. So again, for library material requests, just remember four things. Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. There's no login required. Number two, click online public access catalog. Number three, type your keyword in the search bar, then click search. And then last, make sure that the location of the material is in STII. Then copy the details and email it at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. It's easy, right? We also disseminate SNT information through our publications. So these are all of the DOST STII publications that you can download for free at stii.dost.gov.ph. So let's describe each publication. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science or PJS, which is the oldest scientific peer-reviewed journal in the Philippines, published in 1906. So what can you see inside PJS? If you are looking for research outputs on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, 
you can refer to the Philippine Journal of Science. So for those of you who are looking for related studies on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, PJS is the one for you. Next, we have the SNT Post, which is a quarterly publication of DOST STII. So what's inside SNT Post? If you are looking for news articles on various DOST programs, SNT Post is the one for you. In particular, SNT Post tackles how DOST initiatives have created an impact in agriculture, enterprise, industry, IT, health, education, and disaster preparedness. Next is the Red Book or the Reference for Emergency and Disaster Book. The Red Book serves as a handy tool of information about all possible natural hazards in an area. The warning information given by agencies like Pagasa and Evox and special programs like Project NOAA and the suggested actions to take during these events. The Red Book can be used by our grade 11 and grade 12 students as well as our teachers as a reference on the subject disaster readiness and risk reduction. So if you know someone who needs a reference on emergency and disaster, well, you can refer them the Red Book. Next, we have the DOST Digest, which is a monthly DOST publication. So what's inside DOST Digest? If you are looking for condensed and easy to read science and technology news stories, DOST Digest is the one for you. DOST Digest contains the most recent technologies and happenings in the local SNT community with compelling photos and images on a full color four page newsletter. So if you are a student or professional on the go, DOST Digest is the one for you. Next is Balitang Rapidos, which is a monthly publication of DOST STII. So are you looking for news stories on science and technology, which is written in the Filipino language? So if you are, you can refer to Balitang Rapidos. Balitang Rapidos provides condensed and easy to read news stories on science and technology that is written in the Filipino language. Next, we have the SPEARS or the Specialized Philippine Enterprise Reference of Experts and Scientists, which is originally published as the Philippine Men of Science in 1964 and renamed as the Philippine Men and Women of Science in 2013. So what's inside SPEARS? Are you curious about our Filipino scientists? Have you ever wondered what are their contribution in the country? Do you want to know more about our Filipino scientists? Well, if your answer is yes, SPEARS is the one for you. SPEARS provides biobibliographic information of Filipino scientists and experts, which serves as a specialized reference for the public. Last, we have the Philippine Science and Technology Abstracts or the PSTA. PSTA is a semi-annual publication of DOST STII, released every June and December of each year. PSTA features abstracts of local SNT published researches. So if you are looking for a list of local SNT published researches, PSTA is the one for you. So remember, all of these publications are all free for full text download at DOST STII website at www.stii.dost.gov.ph. So just go visit our website, go to products and projects, and select SNT publications, then you're good to go. We also disseminate SNT information through our mobile apps which are all free for download at Google Play Store, just type DOST STII in the search bar. Let's describe these mobile apps one by one. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science mobile app. If you're always on the go and you want to be updated on the latest issue of Philippine Journal of Science, 
you can download this mobile app on your mobile devices and do research on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences. With Philippine Journal of Science mobile app, you can access the past and current issues of PJS anytime, anywhere. Next, we have the DOS-TV mobile app for past and current episodes of DOS-TV programs. Because we are the information and marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology, we also promote SNT through broadcasting. And DOS-TV is one of the flagship program of DOST SAI aside from DOST Starbucks. DOS-TV is the official weather, science, and technology television program of the Department of Science and Technology to communicate science for the people, promote a culture of science and technology, and raise the aspirations of our youth to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and be the leaders of the future. Among the programs of DOS-TV are DOST Report, Expert Talk, Negociencia, Cineciencia, and Special Coverage on SNT Events. So if you miss watching these programs, you can download the DOSTB mobile app. Next is the science.ph mobile app. If you are always on the go and you want to be updated on the news on science and technology, well, we recommend science.ph mobile app for you. By using this mobile app, you will always be updated on the happenings in the field of science and technology. Science.ph mobile app will let you categorize the news by region and by field of study. So download it now. Next, we have the DOST app. This was recently introduced to the public in 2020 to allow the public to be updated on the DOST initiatives, programs, and projects. DOST app gives you quick access to information on science, technology, and innovation from the Department of Science and Technology. It is a handy tool to find practical solutions to the country's pressing problems and to provide career and livelihood opportunities for every Filipino. Next is the Starbucks Quiz app, designed to challenge our elementary, high school, and college students to answer quizzes on science and technology. So this can be used by our teachers in providing an interactive activity on their classes. We also have the Starbucks mobile app for the students and teachers on the go. So here are the following contents of the Starbucks mobile app. We have the Scarty livelihood videos, K-12 materials, science for safer communities videos, investigatory projects, math and science educational videos. Lastly, we also have the Starbucks GeoMap to locate all of Starbucks kiosks installed in the Philippines. So remember, all of these mobile apps are all free for download at Google Play Store. You just need to type DOST STII at the search bar. We are encouraging you all to download it now. We also disseminate SNT information through our website. So here are the following websites for Philippine Journal of Science at philjournalsci.dost.gov.ph. For DOSTB, we have dostb.ph. For science.ph, we have science.ph. Very easy to remember, right? And for spears, we have spears.dost.gov.ph. And you can access the link to these websites at DOST. STII website at stii.dost.gov.ph. As I have mentioned earlier, we also disseminate SNT information through broadcasting. So we are inviting you all to please watch CineCN every Monday at 5 p.m., Expert Talk Online every Wednesday at 5 p.m., and DOST Report every Friday at 4 p.m. live at DOSTB Facebook page at facebook.com slash DOSTBPH and at DOSTB Science for the People YouTube channel. And lastly, our third mandate, 
we undertake training on S&T information. Among the topics that we cover are science journalism, basic photography, digitization of print materials, and online library literacy program. Again, we are encouraging you all to please maximize the use of our services and resources. For inquiries regarding our services, resources, and products, here are our contact details. Again, this is Glyn Dorlit and Maglake. Thank you for listening. Let's stay connected. Contact us now. Hello, everyone. I bet everybody is uh, missing the classroom now. Kaya ang kukulip niyo, no? But anyway, we understand that. And uh, instead of chatting, you join me now while we navigate the online public access of our library. So kung may gadget po kayo sa tabi nyo, aside from the one you're using right now, you join me as we navigate our online public access catalog. So let me share my screen. Okay, so I hope you can see this clearly. This is our online public access catalog. So um, as mentioned a while back, just go to signet.dust.gov.ph. And just like how you use the Google when you search for uh, materials, you just use the quick search. Um, ang pagkakaiba po dito sa Brainly is, ayun, because in Brainly, you can ask a question, right? But in here, you cannot ask a question. You just input the subject or the topic. So for example, uh, we're looking for materials on, um, ano ba? Um, since it's almost three, let's uh, use the term banana. Okay, so for example, you're looking for materials on banana. This is what you're going to do. Just input the topic. And then, click search. And there you go. So, um, our online public access catalog consists of 1,350 um, materials related to banana. And, okay, makikita nyo po dito, there is a part here where it asks you to log in. But, this is not necessary for clients. So, you don't need to register and this is free for use. Okay, so, let's check this out. We have different collections in the library. We have here books represented by this icon. We also have this technical report. We have analytics. We have serials. Or these are magazines and journals. We also have non-prints. We have reprints, investigatory projects, thesis, and vertical files. I bet you are more interested on the investigatory project part. Now, let's try opening some of these materials. Okay, so for example, this one. So this is... Uh, what's this icon again? Okay. This is a book. So let's try this one. Okay. So this is the uh, this is what we call the bibliographic record of the material. You can find here the title of the book, the call number. We use that in the library. Uh, I think you also have one in your library. And then the location of the material. So our online public access catalog consists of the different um, materials you can find in the different USD agencies. So magkakaiba po kami ng location. So for example, this material is found specifically in Region 7. And Region 7 is found in Cebu. Okay, so uh, wala po kaming access kay Cebu. Okay, now... Let's go back. Okay. Same goes through with this one. It's in Region 7. Ayan. So, uh, lahat po ng binuksan natin are found in Region 7. 
ibig sabihin, um, these materials can only be provided by DOST RO7. Okay po? Next, let's try this material. This is a non-print material. And, okay, here's the title. The location is STII. And down below, you can find here download full text. This material means we have the digital copy of the material and if you need this one, we can send the material to your email. Okay? Um, ano gagawin nyo kung halimbawa gusto nyo yung material? You just copy the title, the author, the call number. Ayan. Or, kung ayaw nyo pong mangopia, you can just screenshot this one and then attach it to your email. You can send your request via email at library at stii.ust.gov.th or you send it via our Facebook page. Here you go. Okay. So that is the quick search. Now let me show you another way of searching our online public access catalog. We have the expert search. Okay. And for expert search, this is much better than the quick search because it has different delimiters. So we have here title, author, subject, date, and contents. And then uh, you can also limit which material you want to access. Is it the analytics? Analytics are articles actually, which are called out from the different serials or journals. We also have books, kung books lang yung gusto nyo, non-prints or investigatory projects. Also, technical reports, reprints, serials, thesis, or vertical files. And then, you can use and, or, or not. You can also display as much as 50 results. Okay, so you can input actually um, two uh, subjects or topics, or you can input the author if you already know the author. So for example, let's try subject. Let's use science. Okay, as mentioned a while back by Ma'am Linder, our library focuses on collecting materials in science, technology, and innovation information because that is our government mandate. So wala po kami uh, when it comes to your AP, your literature, or your history. Ah, AP is history pala no, or Filipino. Yan. So, let's continue. Okay. So, pag ginamit po natin ang or, ibig sabihin nun, what we input here, and here, for example, let's try contents. Um, ginamit natin kanina is banana. Banana na lang ulit. Okay. And let's click search. Okay, now while the uh, site is searching, I think we are having a um, problem with internet connection, so naglalag siya. And while we're waiting for that, I would just like to announce that our library um, operates from Monday or opens from Monday to Thursday from 7 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the afternoon. So um, we can only respond to your queries or to your requests from Mondays to Thursdays. For example, we got your request on a Friday. Um, we are very sorry, but you will have to wait until Monday to get a response. But if you send us a request by 8 a.m. in the morning, we are given eight working hours to respond to your query. So, ibig pong sabihin noon, uh, you, you don't need to uh, wait how many for how many days or for how many uh, long hours before you get your response. Okay? Now, okay. Wala pa siya. Let's check. Okay. Sorry. 
<laughs> Nag-error siya. Okay, what else? While we're waiting for the system. Okay, another thing is, for example, you're looking for a material in, unfortunately, the material is not found in our library. Um, you can still send us a request or an email asking for that topic. And we can refer you with materials that are related to your topic. For example, this one. Ang um, kailangan niya is title focus on earth science. But this is located in Region 7. So what we did is, again, uh, we're going to still send something. It may not be exactly the title of the material you are requesting, but it will be related to the topic you are requesting. Okay? Again. And when we respond to your queries, we would also ask you to do something for us. This is our... Uh, feedback form. So, kapag po nag-request kayo sa amin, we will also need your feedback on how our service was. This will make our service even better. Okay? Now, let's go back. Okay, while the system is Ongoing. Let's try this one. I'll use another browser because we have some. Okay, I'll use this one instead. I hope you can see it. Okay, so let's go to science and banana. Okay, I am ready now. Okay, so this is what we can see in the expert search result. So we have uh, the search took 39.90 seconds and we have 22,921 records found. Good thing here is you don't need to open the uh, bibliographic record of the material before you can see the location. So makikita nyo ka agad, this is located in STII, this is also in STII. So what should you do? Do you need to copy each of these titles so, and then send it to us as a request? Now, you can uh, still screenshot this one and then send this to our email or via Facebook. Okay? Again, so that's how easy to navigate our online public access catalog. Okay? Another thing is we also have a um, subscription with ScienceDirect. So, we just go to sciencedirect.com. Sorry, the Doon siya. Okay. And then, in Science Direct, you also don't need to register. And you just key in the topic or the subject that you want. You can use here the um, scientific terms or scientific words. Okay lang siya. Um, you can input the author, the title, if you know the title. Ayan. So, for example, uh, for right now, we are facing the coronavirus. So let's try looking for materials related to coronavirus. Okay, so for coronavirus, it has 11,752 results. And for example, you need this one, you are interested to read this material, you just send this one to us. You can also screenshot this one and then send to our email. Okay, so ganun lang po kadali. So remember, we have um, signet.dust.gov.ph and sciencedirect.com. Okay, so if you have any questions, just uh, chat or just message us via our Facebook page and we will get in touch with you. Thank you so much.
Okay. Magandang araw po sa lahat and welcome ulit sa ating online library literacy program. So, narito po ako ngayon para ipakilala sa inyo si Starbucks. So, kanina, uh, pinakilala na po si STII maging ang ating library. Ang ating library po ay matatanggupuan sa Bikutan Tagig. So, ito po yung isang challenge natin when it comes to information access. Uh, ang Bikutan Tagig po ay medyo may kalayuan sa karamihan ng ating mga information seekers. Uh, at bukod doon, isa rin siya sa may matrapik na area. So, dito tayo nagkaka-problem uh, yung tinatawag nating gap between the information seekers o yung ating mga researchers at yung ating content na matatagpuan sa library. So, uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin? So, ang ginawa namin or ng STII is to bring the library resources sa ating mga information seekers. So, papunta na sa inyo. It's the other way around na. So, paano natin ginawa yun? Ito po ang kaya, kaya na buo si Starbucks. So, si Starbucks po ay isang digital library na kung sa ayanan natin sa traditional, yung mga libro natin, ginawa natin siyang upper process natin siya into digital forms para pwede na natin siyang uh, ipamahagi sa iba't ibang nangangailangan. Uh, bukod dito, once digital ka na, pwede na siya ng sabay-sabay gamitin or tinatawag natin multiple access. Pangalawa, si Starbucks po ay offline or hindi na nangangailangan ng internet connections. Uh, Pangatlo, uh, mobile na siya. So, it's called a library in a box. Uh, natin siyang gawing mobile. So, anywhere, even the remote areas, pwede nating mapuntahan. At higit sa lahat, ang system po ni Starbucks ay pinamamahagi na atin sa ating mga institution or eskwelahan ng libre. Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Uh, gusto natin mag-create ng interest sa science and technology ang ating mga kabataan at uh, uh, later on is mag-enroll sila into science and technology courses. Uh, sunod is magkaroon tayo ng pool of uh, SNP personnel through Uh, inventions, innovations, and of course, inspire one's capacity for entrepreneurship and research. Uh, Ano-ano naman ang laman ng Starbucks? So, nung umpisa po ang kung ano yung meron kay library, uh, yun ang nilalagay natin kay Starbucks. Ngayon, we partnered with different content providers at sa iba't ibang ahensya ng DOST. Uh, we have livelihood videos, uh, disaster risk reduction information through S4SC, the Philippine Men, Men and Women of Science, uh, encyclopedia, COVID, COVID information, investigatory projects, and of course, yung ating K-12 materials. So, yung K-12 materials po natin, through the partnership with Front Learners, ito na po ang laman natin. So, this is in accordance with the DepEd K-12 uh, guidelines or content guidelines. Uh, huh? uh, quarters. So, yan. So, nakabreakdown na siya per subject, per, per quarter, per grade level. Ah, sorry. That's per grade level, per quarter, per subject. All right. So, we can also see kung ano yung ginagamit ni DepEd na code for each specific lessons. Nandito na rin po siya. So, ano ba yung mission ni Starbucks? So, sabi nga natin, ginawa si Starbucks para mapadala sa ating information seekers. So, our mission is to bring Starbucks to your location o doon sa mga nangangailangan. And to date, meron na po tayong 5,199 Starbucks sites nationwide. So, karamihan po dito, of course, is our academic institutions. We have some from LGUs, non-government uh, non government agencies, and NGOs, and private institutions. 
So, ilan lamang po ito sa mga uh, deployments natin. So, sabi nga natin, it's mobile. So, wala na tayong pinipiling lugar. Hindi na pwedeng sa city lang. Kasi hindi lang naman sa city ang nangangailangan ng impormasyon natin. Tawid ilog, tawid dagat, tawid bundok. Ito naman po, uh, uh, meron tayong isang area, uh, isang area in Katiil, Davao Oriental. So, our regional op uh, office developed a solar-powered Starbucks. So, para marating natin yung barangay Malibago or Patong Elementary School. Uh, totally remote, this, uh, no internet, no electricity. Pero still, they can still use our contents. Sabi ko kanina, we also have Tawid Bundok. Karamihan in car, remote areas. Okay. For our partners, these are the list of our partners. Uh, we can break them down into two. Uh, content partners, so sila yung nagbibigay sa atin ng mga contents. Uh, na pwede nating ilagay kay Starbucks at ng mga gamit ng mga sadyante, researchers, at uh, entrepreneurs. Of course, we have the deployment partners. So, sila yung nagdadala naman ng Starbucks sa ating mga lugar or sa kanilang uh, respective beneficiaries. And of course, we also partnered with our different attached agencies ni DOST as well as re our regional offices for the deployment of our Starbucks sa kanilang mga nasasakupan. So, to date, ito, lang, ito po ang mga nakamit ni Starbucks simula nung tayo ay uh, nilaunch noong 2011. So, noong 2015, nagawaran tayo ng Presidential Citation for Innovative International Library Projects ng American Library Associations and the Outstanding Library of the Year ng PAARL naman. So, in 2017, nabigyan tayo ng Best Practice Recognition ng the Academy of the Philippines as well as Silver and Gold Anvil Awards for Public Relations Tools, Multimedia, and Public Relations Program category. 2019, we were given the Special Award for the Freedom of Information uh, by the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Uh, last year, we were given Excellence in Government Communications Program Award ng Philippine Quill Awards. And since 2017 to 2020, tayo po ay consistent na kasama sa priority programs ng National Economic Development Authority. So, Paano naman ngayon na wala tayong physical face-to-face -face sa mga schools? So, of course, we need to pivot to the new normal. Si Starbucks po ay meron tayong iba't ibang portal na pwede pa magamit. Hindi man tayo nakikita-kita sa mga sa physical na eskwelahan. So, we have the online portal. We have different apps. We have gamified quiz app and of course, the Geo Map. So, isa-isahin natin yan. Sa ating Starbucks online portal, uh, this was launched in, and monitoring port meet ng mga usage reports and dito rin tayo nagbibigay ng updates sa, para sa kanilang mga contents. However, nung, during the pandemic, when everyone was forced to stay at home, so our learners ay nangailangan ng pagkukunan or ng magpag-access ng informasyon. So, what we did in Starbucks is to upload our contents dito sa ating portal uh, para magkaroon naman yung ating mga sadyante and researchers ng relevant and timely science and technology innovation information. And it was also this time na uh, nilawakan natin yung ating partnerships with the different organizations para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang content online.
So, paano natin ito ma-access? Uh, using your browser, just go to www.starbooks.ph And sa upper right side, makikita nyo po yung dito, yung login here to explore. So, just click that side and lalab magkakaroon po tayo ng pop-up window like this in image number 2. So, if you have, if you've registered before, uh, just input your username and password or you can always sign up. So, once you sign up, you click yung sign up form, lalabas po yung ating sign up form. Just fill out the required information and click submit. Now, you can explore our online portal. So, our contents, katulad ng mga binanggit ko kanina sa offline, we have the different contents from our different agencies, content providers, and online sources. So, para naman sa ating mga gadget users, we developed ilang mobile applications para maka-connect or maka access din sa ating Starbucks information. So, ito naman, kinawa natin ito ng July 2019. And, uh, to date, hanggang Android, Android pa lang po ang ito available. So, we can download it at Google Play Store. So, paano tayo magkaroon? Punta lang po kayo sa inyong Play Store sa inyong mga gadgets. Search for Starbucks. So, kay Starbucks po, tingnan nyo mabuti, meron siyang nakalagay. Yung may logo po na bilog. Ayan. And then, download and install. So, same then Pro, uh, Set up lang tayo ng ating profile. Your name, your age, and your category. And then, you can access our different informations contained in Starbucks, such as the Squarty videos. So, dito, since gadget naman siya, click-click lang. Uh, minsan may mga kailangan din tayo na applications katulad ng video play players and so para maka-access tayo ng mga videos natin uh, yung ibang materials natin such as journals science journals we have the complete text uh, complete article full title uh Uploaded na rin po yan. Especially those coming from the Philippine Journal of Science. Uh, halimbawa, uh, need nyo ng specific na item, you can always use the search function. So sa search function natin, we can limit it or filter it if you want the video, the full text, or the text only. So usually, yung mga text only, ito yung mga web contents natin. So you can use titles, you can use keywords uh, to search for your information. So, paano naman kung medyo board-board ka na sa pagbabasa? Si Starbucks po, nag-develop din. Ito po, bagong-bago lang. Uh, Kakalunch lang nito last week. So, initially, meron kaming uh, simple Sim, mas simpleng version ito. Ito lang yung mas pinaganda. We have avatars na. We have tokens na. And everything. So, si Gamified na po. Si WizUp. Same din siya. It's available kay Android. So, punta lang tayo kay Play Store. And hanapin po si Starbucks Wiz. So, yung icon po niya is si Smarty. Kung familiar kayo kay Smarty, yung mukhang Angry Bird na may hawak na tablet. So, ayan, si Starbucks Wiz. And install and play. So, ito na po ang mangyayari dyan. Same pa rin tayo ng process. Always enroll on your account reg or register your account and Login, or pwede rin na po yan ng using your FB. Okay? So, meron tayong iba't iba.
All right, so that concludes our topics. Thank you very much to our uh, uh, speakers and sa active participation ng ating mga students sa chat box. No? And uh, we're very sorry, but we have to skip the Q&A portion because we're running out of time. But if you have get any questions, please use uh, please send us a message to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash STII library. Or send us an email at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. And finally, as part of our learning initiatives, we are asking everyone to please answer our post-test and evaluation form using the link posted. So itong link pong nasa inyong mga screens, you can type it in your browsers or you can simply click the you can simply click the link posted in our chat box so you will be directed sa aming online evaluation form. So we will appreciate it really if you will answer uh, our evaluation form. And some reminders also, uh, please double check your email address kung ano po yung ginamit nyo nung nag-register kayo in the program. Yun din po ang gagamitin sa evaluation form. And please provide your full name so that's your first name, middle initial, and surname. So again, please provide, when answering the online form, please provide your full name. That's your first name, middle initial, and your surname. So thank you everyone, sa mga students. I hope you learned something na pwede niyong magamit sa inyong mga projects, assignments, researches, and outputs. And sa mga students na makaka-accomplish, successfully accomplish ng ating post-test and evaluation form, you will receive an e-certificate an e of participation. So please expect it on or before October 5, 2021. Okay, so that's 10 working days after our after the conduct of the session. So, again, thank you sa ating mga participants. So, kung tapos na ang answer na ng ating uh, evaluation form, you may now leave the Zoom room. So, thank you very much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, so sa mga panelists po, please stay in the Zoom room. Uh, we will have a short uh, photo op lang. Yan, kay Miss... Agnes, balikod ko. So, well, ayan. Okay, so may I request to the panelists to open up your cameras for a quick photo of. Ayan. Let's just wait for Miss Agnes. Ma'am? I cannot open my camera. Ay, okay po. Sige, ma'am. So, uh, tayo-tayo na lang po, ma'am Linder. Yes, may, ano naman si, may photo icon naman si, ano eh, si ma'am Agnes. Ah, sige po. Uh, Sir Rainier, okay na po? Kayo na po mag-capture ng ating photo op? Ayan. Okay, in three, two, one. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Agnes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Ingat. Ingat. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.